What's up guys, my name is Garrett with 1776 Tactical Corporation located in Concord, North Carolina. Today we're gonna to talk about something pretty cool. Uh, this is a special guest we have visiting. Uh, his company is called Counter Recoil and he does something pretty cool. I'm gonna take it off to him and let him introduce himself and talk about his products, what he does, what he stands for, and I'll let you have the floor. Thank you. Hey everybody, I'm Brandon with Counter Recoil. Um, I have muzzle devices manufactured in the great state of Texas. Um, we've got our muzzle brakes right here, fantastic for the bolt action rifles, uh, long range precision stuff, works on the AR platform as well. But the coolest thing that everybody's interested in, we also have suppressors. This is a center fire can for 30-06, um, 6 inch in length, 2 inch diameter, a little bit bigger than other people, but what we're dealing with is the physics of the hot gas is behind the bullet. So nice short little can, very durable, made out of a 316 stainless steel, completely indestructible. And this model in particular is for 30-06. We've got stuff for 300 Win Mag, stuff for the 556, the 300 Blackout, and we also have a rimfire can for 17 HMR, 22 long rifle, 22 mag. All these cans are sealed units, maintenance free. You just screw it on and run. Doesn't matter what you do to it. It's not going to break. It's not going to wear out. You're going to burn your barrel out before you do anything to the can. So we got a lot of stuff on the table, just kind of showcasing a couple of the different things that you can do with the muzzle devices, just with guns in general. A lot of cool stuff. Um, this is AR-15, 5.56. Everybody knows what it is with the can on the end. Very quiet, very nice, very fun to shoot. Um, standard AR build. I don't know what I'm talking about, so I'm not going to spend too much time on that one. <clears throat> All right. Next one we have is the Saku 85 in 308 Winchester, which is a very beautiful rifle, top of the line, very nice, very fun to shoot. And that right now has the muzzle brake on the end of it that takes all the recoil out, no flash. Still goes bang because it's not a suppressor, but that's okay because sometimes you don't want the extra weight, you don't want the extra length. Maybe you're traveling to a state for a hunt where you're not allowed to have your suppressor. Something like that. Um, we've got a Zeiss scope on here. Very high-end scope manufacturer. Some of the finest glass that you can get at a decent price point. You're looking at two, three grand for something that you can take all the way out to a thousand yards. Um, anything above that. Very high-end manufacturer is not necessarily something you need for your basic stuff. This over here, 2-2 long rifle. This is built as a bench rest gun. Very thick barrel. It's about 12, 13 pounds. Same Zeiss scope as the 308. This is what we call a tactical trainer. Very cheap to shoot, so you can set up and just have fun with it all day. And you'll see on the paper, oh, I'm pulling too hard, right, left, whatever. My groups are terrible. I need to adjust my scope, anything like that. Just a good way to learn how to shoot. And the other AR platform we have over here is a custom build by the guys at 1776. And he's going to tell you all about it. So you guys are familiar with this gun. We already did a video on it from build to finish. Uh, this is our custom FAFO 15 as we've now monikered it. And if you know what that acronym means, I'm not gonna say it on YouTube, but you know. So this is our FAFO 15. This gun is built off a of Sharps Brother receiver and a Vesky barrel, Lantac enhanced bolt carrier group, of course, our Hyperfire two and a half pound competition trigger. This is a pistol. Law Tactical Side Folder, and then the latest addition to the front of it is a 30 cal can made by Brandon here. Uh, so we're super excited to see what this is going to do. Um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun to take this thing to the range and test it out. Uh, so in terms of that, look forward to another future YouTube video. We don't have a specific date planned yet, but keep your eyes open. We're going to get it to you as soon as we can. So for those of you that might be curious, uh, we're actually going to show you here the weights on these specific two cans. I'll let Brandon take it away and show you here, right here, right now, what each of these cans weigh. Just to add some context into, you know, you can't actually play with these on the computer. So we've got our 2-2 suppressor, the, set, or the rim fire for your 1-7, your 2-2, your 2-2 mag. That sits on the scale at 3.6 ounces. Nice, lightweight, very easy to shoot. And then for all the center fire cans, gonna be the same weight across the board. We do have caliber specific, 
it's the same design. You're just gonna have different end holes, maybe different baffle construction, but that can comes in at just under 21 ounces. So as the manufacturer, my job is to make the unit and deliver it to these guys here at the shop. But the real question is how do you, as the consumer, get your hands on devices like these? So Garrett's gonna tell you all about that. So for those of you that are not in the know about what a suppressor is, this is, unfortunately, as some of you may understand, a nationally firearm act regulated product. You do have to go through a little bit more complicated process than your standard 4473 background check as most of you are familiar with when you're purchasing a firearm. You do have to go through a separate background check process for this. Um, there are a couple different avenues that you can explore. There's paper filing, there's e-filing. Um, there are a lot of newer and exciting ways of uh, making it easier to acquire this as the consumer uh, on the market is the technology advances there's more people that begin to manufacture suppressors um, so the one that we do here uh, eventually coming soon we are going to be doing the e-form fours which is your nfa tax filing for this product Obviously, every single NFA item, whether you buy one suppressor or 10 suppressors, each individual item, there is a tax stamp associated with that. The same goes for short-barreled rifles and short-barreled shotguns, anything regulated under that National Firearms Act, Arms Act, you do have to pay that tax stamp. But with the new Form 4 e-filing network, uh, it's far easier. For those of you that are familiar with your paper fingerprint cards, that's kind of going by the wayside now we are now able to digitally scan your fingerprints upload your passport photo e-file is a single purchaser or is a trust purchaser i'm not going to go into the details of that because there we could talk all day but look it up if you're curious about the difference between a single purchaser and a trust purchaser um, so here we are in the process uh, of getting our silencer shop account established within the next week coinciding with our website launch on the 27th Pay attention for that. Going live here soon. Everybody's super stoked. We are going to have our class three items or our NFA items on our website and able to be processed through the store and through silencershop.com. We will be getting the kiosk in here eventually. Right now we're just doing the online processing through Silencer Shop. Still super easy. They pretty much take care of all the legwork for you. We simply process and hold the product for the wait time until it's approved. So outside of that, a lot of exciting stuff. We're really excited to get these counter recoil products in here. If you're curious about these, check Brandon out at counterrecoil.us or give us a call in the store. Check out on our website. We're gonna have all these products listed. A lot of exciting stuff in the works here. So in case some of you are wondering, we talked about a lot of stuff, extra steps. This seems like a lot. It's really not. Some people may think because of all these extra background checks, all these extra steps, I, I don't know if I can do this. But always remember, if you are legally allowed to own a firearm, you are legally allowed to own an NFA item. All you have to do is go through the same background check, different step, but as long as you're allowed to own that firearm, you can own the NFA item, whether that's suppressor, short barrel rifle, or short barrel shotgun. Don't let the stigma deter you from exploring this wonderful side of the firearms world. So on that note, like and subscribe. Make sure you share this video. Uh, understand that these products will be available for purchase here soon, as well as other NFA items. Check us out on other social media networks. We have Snapchat, Instagram, Truth Social, all the good stuff. We will see you next time. Have a good rest of your day.